Where's the kitty cat that has all the spots? When public health is done right, it's invisible. I want to find a kitty cat. Yeah. And that's really what we are in public health. We're change agents trying to make the conditions that form our health, whether it's social determinants or whatever it may be, make those conditions better off. When you see that public health is having an impact on families, on adolescents, on their health care providers, on their teachers, and that perhaps we really are preventing severe problems, it makes it worth it. The beauty of medicine is that, yeah, we can focus in on the patient. The beauty of public health is where we actually look at that whole population, that whole community together and figure out how can we best meet the needs. Talking about public health in 1975, we were lucky if we could test things to parts per million. Today we can test for chemicals in water at parts per trillion. Work is really important. Every one of us here wants to work and we want to be healthy in order to work so that we can really support ourselves, support our families, and, and live good lives. We can embrace the opportunity to partner with public health experts. Amazing findings and new solutions to old and new problems. The things that we are doing with and for Minnesota, you know, we're conferring tangible benefit. We're out there working with legislators, we're out there working with healthcare delivery systems, we're working with vulnerable populations. What can we do to help you deliver better care and improve the health of the population? Clean dirt in home place. Public health requires a social justice lens because if our goal as public health professionals is to ensure that everyone has an opportunity to be healthy and to have a healthy life, we have to address inequity, and at the heart of inequity is social injustice. Public health is the constant redefining of what's acceptable. It used to be acceptable for young children to die of polio, and then we decided it wasn't. Right now, it might be acceptable for a lot of people to die in violence or of suicide. It may be acceptable for our current climate change situation, but we're going to decide that it's not, and then we're going to do something about it, and that's public health. <laughs>